Okay, so I have uh, my Charm High 48 VA running here, and I'm going to show you a little bit of problem with the pull needle. The pull needle is stuck. So you see the pull needle is right there. My camera's going to focus on that guy. This is the pull needle right here. And it's stuck in the up position. And what's supposed to happen is when you come over here in the diagnostic menu and hit the pull needle. Oh, it actually worked one time. Okay, so it gets stuck in the up position. If I pull this out a little bit and then press the pull needle button, I can get it so it's out. And then it times out and it goes back up again. So I need to pull that solenoid off, which is back in here, and try to get some lubricant at the top of that shaft of the pulley. Okay, I got the solenoid out. And it had these two screws holding it in, and there was actually a hex wrench in my little kit that came from Charm High. So I wonder if I can get my hand in there. So here's the pull needle itself. Mine's a little bent. I'll go ahead and straighten that out before I put it back in. And there's a little spring in there that's the return spring. So what we're going to do is to put a little lubrication on this shaft here. And see if that works. So I'll straighten this out, put it all back together, and we'll see what happens. Alright, so I put a little lubrication on the shaft there, and we'll go ahead and do the pull needle on a diagnostic screen, and you can see that it's working. I think that's all I needed. Okay, I've got the solenoid reinstalled, and I'm going to do the test from the, hit the pull menu from the diagnostic screen, and we have full actuation now. I'm back in business. It's relatively painless. I looked around. I would have liked to use machine oil. I mean, uh, sewn machine oil, but I didn't have it. So I used to just used a little bit of 3-in-1 oil. And what I ended up doing was gently wiping the solenoid shaft in this residue right here on the lip and putting a really thin coat on both parts of the pull pin shaft. So I'm back in business. And get back to placing these boards. This is a this is a, a, a ESP32 gerbil board that I got from. Uh, it's a kind of a clone with some extra features onto it from um, uh, Bart Dring's ESP32 gerbil project. So I was working on board number four, and the pull pin stopped working, so I can get back to it. All right, thanks for watching.